How do we ensure that our experience of Rocky Mountain National Park will be the same for our children and for others who visit in the future? We often visit our national parks and marvel at their wonder, yet we don't often take the time to think about how our visit and the visit of millions others like us are impacting this national treasure. Now, back in 2018 and 2019, Rocky Mountain National Park experienced significant impacts in a very short space of time. As someone who had already spent 15 years in the park, I was shocked by so many things that I saw. Some of what I saw was blatant vandalism and a lack of concern for the park. But I think the majority of the issues we experienced were the result of a lack of knowledge about wilderness and the natural world. We were experiencing a shift in visitation, which was probably driven by social media. Many of the new visitors had not spent much time in nature. They grew up in more urban environments and were simply unaware of how their actions were impacting the natural world. Now, one of Rocky Mountain National Park's interpretive rangers used to say that when she was a little girl, before she would visit her grandmother, her parents would sit her down and explain that the rules at grandma's house were different than at home. The same is true when visiting our national parks, but we first have to learn the rules before we can practice them. So in 2019, to address the growing impacts and to provide some simple education, Rocky Mountain National Park developed something that they call the Rocky Pledge. It's a very simple commitment, but when followed can greatly reduce many of the worst impacts of visitation. The Rocky Pledge is a commitment that the National Park Service is encouraging visitors to make when they come to Rocky Mountain National Park. It's something that I think all of us and even our children should read and commit to. Let me read it to you. I actually have a copy of it printed inside of my book, uh, Hiking Rocky Mountain National Park, The Essential Guide. The Rocky Pledge to preserve unimpaired for this and future generations the beauty, history, and wildness therein, I pledge to protect Rocky Mountain National Park. To prevent fire scars and human-caused fires, I pledge never to build a fire outside of a campground or picnic area fire grate. To protect plants, meadows, and alpine tundra, I pledge to park and drive only on designated asphalt or gravel parking areas, never on vegetation. To respect other visitors' experiences, if I need to go, but am not near a restroom, I pledge to leave no trace by stepping well away from the trail and from water sources, burying my waist at least six inches deep or packing it out and always carrying out my toilet paper. To respect Rocky's wild creatures and to protect myself, I pledge to watch wildlife from a distance that doesn't disturb them in any way. I will never feed an animal. Doing so causes it harm. To respect the history, heritage, and natural processes, I pledge to remove nothing from the park except my own and others' trash, not even a flower, pine cone, or rock. I will leave no trace of my visit so the next person can experience the same beauty that I did. To keep my pet, wildlife, and other visitors safe, I pledge to keep my leashed pet only on the roads, in campgrounds, and in picnic and parking areas. I will never take my dog on Rocky's trails, meadows, or tundra areas. To preserve them for the enjoyment, education, and inspiration of this and future generations, I pledge to honor, respect, and protect all of our national parks and public lands. And then at the bottom, there's a place where you can put your name and uh, put a date just to remind yourself that you made that pledge. Now, most of these may seem very obvious, but for some of them, you may wonder, what's the harm in me doing this? Well, the truth is, with millions of visitors each year, it is never just one person doing anything. Each action is done again and again, day after day, hence the impact. Our simple commitment helps to change the tide. In the show notes below, I'll put a link to this pledge. You can also find it in that hiking guide that I talked about. I encourage you to read it with your family and with those coming with you to the park. But don't just read it, make this commitment. Then print it out and put it in your hiking guide or somewhere else to remind you during your visit of the commitment that you made. Now I know that this pledge doesn't address all of the issues of visitor impact, but it's a good first step. 
Together, by making such a commitment, we can help to change things and help to protect this special place. Now, if you make this commitment, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great trip to Rocky Mountain National Park. To help you prepare for your visit to Rocky Mountain National Park, visit my website, RockyMountainNationalPark.com. For hiking guides, calendars, coffee table books, and more, visit RockyTrailPress.com. And when you arrive, be sure and stop by my gallery in downtown Estes Park. It's called Images of RMNP.